guys, welcome to the December 2019 Smash the Crate, where me and my mom try everything in this month's Keto Crate. <laughs> it's like a blinker. No, I got that, that off of the voice. <laughs> Who does that? Uh, the country singer. Oh, Blake country. Shelton? I know him. I love his music. Oh Blake Shelton. Yeah, That's so funny. I've never, no, I've never yeah, seen this. So that was funny. <laughs> okay, guys. Don't forget to watch my 2019 December Keto Crate unboxing right there. So you can see... There. There's my mom's face. Right there. So you can see all of the things that are in this Keto Crate. But we're just going to hop in. You can use the link in the description below to order this month's Keto Crate if you've ever wanted to try any of these products. So we have a lot of good stuff in the Keto Crate. That's salty. That's salty. More nuts, always nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, guys. So first up, Pazoots. These are flavor infused premium Virginia artisan peanuts. Base, base spice. spice. I just mm. don't know that I want my peanuts to taste know. like base spice, but we'll see. Chocolate or honey? Exact, or exactly. Yes. Covered, sure. Well, okay. Hello. deceiving but we know we're gonna try it out we're gonna throw these back yep i'm i'm tossing them okay and go no no this is nasty i don't want them to go down i, I can't believe i had to swallow all that that's what she said uh, but like yeah. mm. Mm. I didn't think I would. I didn't think I would like them, but I did not think I would hate them. I, that was that was horrible. Now we're trying Wild Bill's smoked, Ooh. cured, and seasoned pork belly bites. Ooh, those look delicious. Yeah, I'm I'm expecting these to taste like just like big right big there? bacon bits. To be honest, I feel like these are okay. I feel like I got like a crispy and like I like burnt, burnt bacon. bacon. Comment down below. How do you like your meat or your bacon? Tough, chewy meat. Yeah, I've heard. and and I feel like this is like it's a little soft and chewy, and I just don't like it. Okay, but no, let's try. I'm going for it. I love it. Mmm. It tastes like a rib. How much for one rib? <laughs> the flavor is good, but the texture is just a little too gummy for me. Like, I don't like that. So for this bag, it's three servings, and there's two carbs per serving. Oh, so six per bag? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot in there. I wouldn't get those again. I like that. No, not bad. All right, next we have Legendary Foods Buffalo Blue Wing Seasoned Almonds. Once again, I just don't know why I want my almonds to taste like buffalo wings, especially when buffalo wings are a keto food. Like, oh my God, I mean, these are like coated. caked in seasoning. No, yeah, I mean, coated. super coated. Well, you like buffalo, which is- I do, but that's what I'm saying. Almonds. I don't know why that they would need to put them on almonds though. Okay, we shall see. let's go. Going for it. Not bad. I mean, not, not bad. bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. I mean, I would never it. need to order these. You can have someone. I would not purchase those with my money, but like if I got these as at a meetup, mm -hmm. I would definitely like save them for road trips and stuff. I would not throw them away. Well, only reason why I would automatically buy these because of the name Buffalo, aka to me is hot, spicy, and I'm not a fan. So, but hey, these I, I like these. Okay, already on to the sweet stuff. The first thing we're gonna try are these Nui cookies. So this is just another keto cookie. Oh, it's soft and it's really nicely put together. It's like a little mushroom. It does a mushroom cap. Mm -hmm. It's very homogenous. Like it, it looks like a huge Nilla wafer. I mean, this is just a huge Nilla wafer. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, this is thick. Spongy. It is. Like I mean, I'm bending it like four times and it's not breaking apart. Okay. Oh my god. Like yeah, I have to. You have to rip it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I like the consistency. Oh man. Mm, I like, mm. Oh wow. Mm. Hurt the Hurt the I did not think I was gonna like this. I thought I was just gonna be like, eh, cookie. No, this well, is let's chewy. Sure, let's just make sure that. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. This is a tier one. I mean, yeah, this right. is really good. I'd buy that with her money. <laughs> Nice. This whole cookie has a ton of total carbs, 19 total carbs, 12 fiber, so that takes us down to seven. 
allulose is five, so that gets us at two net carbs for this whole cookie. Oh, wow. I'm eating that. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. buying that. That yeah. was really good. That is. I, I did not think that. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Keto Grape. Now, kiss my keto, keto gummies. Now, I don't ever really eat gummies because it's just a whole bunch of fiber syrup, you know? If I'm eating gummies, I'm eating Haribo Golds. Like, it's an off-plan day. I don't need to to add back in all this fiber syrup to my diet. So I'm saying, and I'm not a fan of gummies. I don't dislike them, I just... Yeah, I would never... Not, that's not what I'm looking to add candy. back into my diet. That is correct. Know? Okay, well, let's try the peach as okay. a order. Mm-mm. Oh, hey, that's why I don't like gummies. That's, no. I mean, I don't like the consistency. That's a Haribo Gold Chew right there. Mm -hmm. The flavor is not really anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Green necks. It's not necessarily like the flavor. I don't like the... She actually loved this chew. Like, I love things that have a chew to them. Mm. It's too difficult to chew. It's just tough. I mean, I liked it. These are definitely a tier two. If somebody gave them to me. I'm definitely keeping these. I don't need to go out of my way to, to eat them. And if someone gave them to me, I'd give them to her. Okay, next, Atkins. Can you believe that I'm snuck back in here again with another bar? Uh, mm-hmm. You guys, when we first started keto, we lived off of Atkins bars. <laughs> two to three a day. We had a we had a two to three pack a day. <laughs> right. This is chocolate almond caramel bar. I've already looked at the ingredients. Yeah, say, they just they, seem they trashy. Throw, but no, they throw maltitol around like so, this. So the good thing about the keto crate is that nothing in this can have maltitol. Yeah. So that I knew by the fact that it was in here that it didn't have okay. maltitol, but I was like. Wonderful. What does it have? Exactly. Boom, soluble corn fiber. It's just like polydextrose. You're not we, slick, what, We know. We're gonna try it, but I'm not buying this from the store. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really good. That does look That delicious. looks really good, like a, like a store-bought bar should look, you know? I like it. I mean, for me, it's okay. It's not good enough to justify the ingredients. No, no, I would if, agree with that. If this is the best thing I ever had, I'm like, look, like the peanut butter bars that mm. we eat, mm. the oh. Atkins chocolate peanut butter bar, mm. I don't care what's in that, I'm eating it because it's so good. So good. This is okay. You know, I mean, this will be a good snack. I mean, I, I'll agree with her when she's saying about, I like it and it's good, but the ingredients, mm -hmm. since they're shady, there's other things that are equally as good, but no, shady and yeah. Nah. Okay. Max Mallow, like sugar-free marshmallows. I mean, they're fluffy. They're they are. jiggly. Oh, I'm trying mm, to understand the really consistency. Good. I don't get it, but yeah. wow. Okay, okay going in. Hmm. Okay. So these are delicious. Yeah, they are. The only reason I'm not buying them is because I don't need to have marshmallows as part of my keto lifestyle. But if I did, yeah, right. this is amazing. Yeah. Like those on some sweet potatoes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Which are also not part of your keto <laughs> lifestyle. Exactly. All right. Next we have a oh, love good facts. Cookies and cream flavor. I remember really wanting to try it, and then I tried it and I just really didn't like it. But I'm throwing that out the window. Starting with a clean slate. Yes. Clean palette. My first time, so you know. It looks like a, uh, what was a zero? No, is it a zero bar? Yeah, the the zero white chocolate? Bar? Yes, which anybody out there, zero candy bar, old school is my favorite candy bar ever. It doesn't oh, matter whatever else they make. Zero it's not, it. it's it's crumbly. Like okay. I thought I was gonna oh, be able to like a break it a finger. Yeah, well, no, not that. It's just like cakey. You have to try it. Okay, okay. let's try it. Oh, no. No, I mean, this is exactly how it felt last time. I wanted to like it. I just don't. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that. I don't hate it, but it could have a, a whole totally better flavor. I mean, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like they didn't try. It's not good. It, it's it's tolerable. See, I feel like this okay, is the sort I, of thing. I, I it there. That's a good word. I feel like this is the sort of thing Matt and Mega talk about when they're like, it's not too palatable. Like it'll satisfy a craving, but not make you want more. That's exactly yeah. what that is. But yeah, like, that's that is perfect description on that. I mean, yeah. but I'm not that type of person. I want it to taste good, <laughs> and that makes sense. Yeah. So, 
Okay, next. Oh my gosh, we have Keto Wise Ooh, that looks chocolate delicious. pecan clusters. It also looks like it would spike your blood sugar if you ask me. Like once again, just because it ain't sugar, don't mean it ain't raising your blood sugar. Exactly. Yeah, like the caramel layer, prebiotic, soy soluble fiber, and polydextrose. Like I mean, oh. it's just this is gonna taste delicious. But like you might as, in my opinion, you might as well have the real thing. And some people well, might just be like, real thing is keto be snacks is better cheaper. than, yeah, exactly. <laughs> keto snacks are, are better than sugar snacks, but like not when they're made with everything basically sugar, just right. not sugar, you know? But I mean, this is a turtle. I bet it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Woo. You know what you mean? You eat food and you're happy, you just are bouncing around like, Woo. No, this, this is good. good. This tastes exactly like the Choco Ripe Pecan Cluster um, that I got in the Keto Crate like a year ago. And it was so good that I bought it at Meyer. They sold them at Meyer. Then I did, did a blood sugar test and it like spiked my blood sugar 22 points. And I was just like, it might as well be regular candy. But I'm, I'm, I'm in the rush of that. I just don't trust the ingredients. Those taste delicious. Wonderful. And every time they come in a Keto Crate, I'm eating them every time, you know, but I'm not going to go out on my own and buy those. I'm loving the way that my sweater matches your hair. Oh my gosh. Where'd my hair go? Ah! <laughs> Next we have good to go. Have you ever had a good to go bar? Uh -huh. Oh, I think you're really going to like this. Yes. It is good to go cinnamon pecan soft baked bar. Look at the texture of these. It's unlike anything. You know, the funny thing is, I would say it's unlike anything we've ever seen, except it's pretty much that new cookie <laughs> right before that. Yeah, that, that makes it delicious. Yeah, we, we haven't seen anything like this before. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. They're like pillows. Yeah, I mean, that, that's oh, just like a little, this. like, yeah, like a, a little, little muffin. A little oomph it. Yes, yeah, a little, yeah, it. that's, that's what, exactly what I would say. Hopefully they're good. I like it. It'll go great with coffee. In my opinion, this gives you the muffin feel. Like if you were at a continental breakfast, not the muffin top. <laughs> if you're at a continental breakfast and everyone else is eating muffins, this gives you that right. banana nut, the pecan, whatever flavor this is, this cinnamon pecan gives you that same feeling. It does. I'm here for it. Um, One, two. I would buy a variety pack of those. Like, because I feel like that is a different texture that I'm not used to. That would be really good to have whenever I wanted it. I would buy these two. Next up, Chalk Zero No Sugar Added White Chocolate Baking Chips. Like, yes. white chocolate chips. We just about to eat. <laughs> what literally, what happened? What happened? You should have said, you should have said I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> white chocolate chips. I am so excited about these. I'm, I'm really like, uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> Maybe it's just like a Nestle Toll House sort of situation, but I expect my chocolate chips to like have that drippy point. These are like oh. chocolate tabs. Okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? They don't have the peaks. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me get them all together. One, okay. two, three. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's like chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. These are good. Yeah. I like it. Tastes like white chocolate. Buy, I would buy these. Yeah, me too. Chalk Zero. I will eat these. Chalk Zero is one of my favorite brands. Mm. Did you eat them? The, the Chalk Zero little candy squares from the Louisville Keto Meetup? Oh, yeah. Oh, is that that? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Chalk Zero is really good. Yes, they are. Mm. Chop that up to zero. No. No, why do you always have to make something out of everything? I mean, it's there. I'm not for it. going for it. No, if you reach. Put it right in no, front of my you face. reach for that. No. <laughs> no. Okay, finally, last but certainly not least, the Keto Fit chocolate bar. Like, I told you guys on the unboxing video, I know that I love these. These are one of my favorite, if not my favorite bar. And my mom can only have a little I bit. I know, she already told me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> And I'm eating the rest of this. Okay. But it reminds me, for people that never had it, it reminds me exactly. Ex I'm pretty sure it's the same recipe. <laughs> it reminds me exactly of the perfect keto uh, bars. Like, That's just wonderful. crumbly and chalky, but delicious. Like, I'm here for it. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. This is just one of my favorite things. This is just one of my favorite things. See, that was right there. Right. I didn't reach so. that. See, but I felt that she did. Mm. So. Now see, when the, again, when you're eating something, yeah. it's delicious, you're enjoying right. it, you just want to rock did. and it did. sing. I did, I did just want to rock and sing, wow. The only reason I have not bought it with my own money yet, it's like, these are like three fifty dollars each, and I'm just Ooh. like, dang, that's a lot of money, and they're so, like, if I could just buy one, I would, but you know, they're like three fifty dollars each, and they come in a box of 12 and I'm just oh, like, no, ah, that's a second mortgage, that's what I'm just saying, but like, I'm going to have to do it one of these days, because like, I really, really like those yeah, bars. They are delicious. Yeah, one more bite. Last one. Okay. Mm. Overall, this month's keto crate was really good. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Pazoots aside, though these are an abomination. But everything else was like, yes. Mm, good to know. You and know. Then you had some doozy clear winners. Some clear winners. Clear winner. Winner, winner chicken dinner. Yes. Um. Man. Winner chocolate chips. Oh, and to me, I mean. Those are good, you know, I won't dispute that. But like, then there were some things that it's just like, oh yeah, the good to go's are winners, you know? And then, of course, my bad. The oh, mallows. Yes. Yes. But like, then we had a few things that were like, hmm, good to know they're yeah, out kids, there. Yeah. You know, may or may not buy them. Uh, you know, and then we just had the duds. But you know, that's, but there was only really one, in my opinion, at this time. But like, overall, this box was great. One of my favorites. I am really happy to know about this newy snickerdoodle oh, yeah. because if i would have just seen this without tasting it i would have assumed it was like every other keto cookie and been like eh i don't need that you know but i'm buying these yeah. these are really good that. yeah these are really good we smashed it we did smash the crate now you remember i used to do like thank you for watching this video mm -hmm. like i make weekly that like i don't make weekly you know anything you know so i you know. noticed that i've been watching some of your old videos mm -hmm. and remember you do it i said she doesn't do that i don't anymore. do that anymore you know i'm taking a break i'm like re vamping seeing what works for me i do however make monthly keto crate unboxings and monthly smash the crates with my mama so you know be on the lookout for that next month but like new content coming in 2020 i'm excited okay well that's all that we have we'll see you next month bye, bye.